Hey, Retcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to Mildly Nuclear and Woe 77, and the entire series is sponsored by Mike Spark. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Phoenix Point, Backer Build 5. I think you've got a pretty good idea of how everything works at this point, so let's jump right in. Now, last time, we tried to head up to North America, but we've already got new alien nests popping up all along the uh, South American coastline. Let's try heading south instead. That way, we can respond a little quicker if there's another attack. Oh, and, uh, speaking of which... Change of plans. Let's see if we can help out Fort Galt. Medium threat, daytime, and a decent reward. Hopefully we can get some loot, too. Okay, let's do this. Oh, hey. This is a uh, new Jericho Ag Center. I've never actually seen this. It's nice to know that <laughs> even after all this time, uh, I can still end up seeing something new. Okay, so we've got a lot of low cover, but we've got some decent sniper perches here. Ready. And we've got more Tritons. Pain Chameleon, Double Perception, Bulldog Assault Rifle, and Bloodsucker Arms. So, slightly more dangerous than the last batch we fought. We'll definitely have to take this one slow. But that is a lot of potential loot on the field. Here. Hmm. Let's get those towers secured. On my way. Instructions received. Oh, very nice. That's our first heavy machine gun. And Leroy is very overloaded. Might need to uh, start boosting our strength at some point.
Man, we cannot get a clear line of sight here. Well, on the bright side, they don't know we're here yet. Hmm, okay. They took out one objective, but the rest of the objectives are behind us, so they have to come over here. Let's make sure we're ready to meet them. Let's have Chris take his first shot from ground level, then he'll head for the stairs. Nicely done. Wasn't sure that would actually hit. Okay, let's finish that guy off. Thank you, Carlos. All right, now let's prep for the rest of these guys. Easy enough. Oh, shoot, they've got reinforcements on our right flank. Well, that uh, changes things a bit, doesn't it? All right, Mark, get up top. Lovely.
Nice. Okay, let's see here. Well, we've got a pretty good idea of where that Triton is hiding. Sure thing. Let's see if Carlos can tag that Triton. Shoot. You know what? I think I aimed too high there. We could take another shot, but let's fall back just in case. We've got an open shot on the guy in the street. Engaging. Thank you, Mark. On it. Well, I was hoping to cripple another one, but that's fine. Now we've also got two on our right flank, so let's get that taken care of. Time to step up! Shoot, I was hoping she'd be able to grab the rifle from the doorway. Ready to go to work. Easy enough. What's the plan? Time to step up. <laughs> Banished from this plane of existence. Shake it, baby. Okay, so you can't pick things up diagonally. Noted. Maximum effort. Moving on. Yeah. 
Interesting. Makes me wish Valen had a heavy weapon on him. Light hit on Mark. Well, shoot. I was hoping that would cripple his torso. Nice shot. Now let's tag the other one. And now let's move in for the kill. Shake it, baby. Left flank is about to get overwhelmed, so we need to start shuffling our guys over there. There. Right flank's clear. Oops. Okay. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Guess not. That took out one of them, but now we've got another one. And we've got no line of sight.
It's times like this that the auto cover system really works against you. Shake it, baby. Oh, shoot. <laughs> He's right there. Didn't even realize. All right, fall back. Hmm. I think we're just about done here. We just need to uh, pad things out long enough to grab those rifles. Those things are 20 material apiece. Just give the word. Aiming. I'm a little worried about this guy in the window. I'm not sure if it's a bug or an actual enemy. Moving! Lovely. We might actually be able to afford a new facility after this. Maximum effort. Okay, I think that's it. I think we've just got those last two guys. Yikes, that thing is terrifying. Oh, hey, there's another crate. All right, let's grab the loot and wrap this up. On it. You like that? Thank you. 
What do you need? What's the plan? Double time! And we are done. Away with thee. <laughs> Not bad. Lost one structure, took a few injuries. But we uh, pulled two level ups and a lot of loot. I think we'll call that a win. Now, sadly, we can't actually gain any more rep with New Jericho until we take care of that mission, but we did pull a modest amount of resources and a lot of weapons and ammo. In fact, as long as that nest is pumping out tritons, it might be worth letting it live. Oh, we've actually got two nests again. Okay, let's take care of those level ups real quick. I think we'll save Chris's points for now. I do want to dual class him, but I'd like to hold out for one of the elites. As for Valen, we'll definitely grab Adrenaline Rush. I guess we'll grab Bloodlust too. Certainly couldn't hurt. Leroy will get ready for action. And Bloodlust too. We'll swap out Carlos real quick, which means Fox is back in. I would like to bring Yumi back in as well, but we just don't have enough armor to go around.
at least we got her into a proper helmet again. Hmm. You know what? Let's swap Chris out for now. We need to uh, conserve his ammo anyway. All right, let's give this another shot. Siren Autopsy Summary Key Findings Genetic Origins 9% Arthropod 8% Myriapoda 23% Human 60% Unknown Function Leadership Abduction Close Combat Mind Control Can directly control an enemy with low will, especially after infection by virus or psychic scream. Offensive Mutations Acid ejection, slashing blades, viral infection, psychic scream, direct will reduction over limited range, defensive mutations, multi pedal variant is armored, mobility, agile variant can move rapidly, weakness, very limited ranged ability. Well, not a lot that actually helps us there, but Nice to have another project under our belt. Terror Sentinel Field analysis has shown that the Sentinels are in fact an amalgamation of mutated plants and humans merged into a single entity. Attempts to separate the human individuals from the plant stem, or each other, have resulted in failure causing the death of the respective entity. Whoever these people were before, they ceased to be human long ago. Careful examination of the Sentinel's heads has revealed enhanced vocal and brain development, allowing for the specimen's shriek. Changes in the cerebellum indicate that the shrieks also affect living creatures on a neurological level. Additional findings Terror Sentinels are able to detect the presence of living and mechanical entities within six meters. The exact mechanism of detection remains unknown. <sighs> Come on. All right, well, Satagu's under attack, and unfortunately, there's no way we'll actually get there fast enough to save them. Guess we should have knocked out that nest before we headed south again. Sorry, guys. War this valley was the location of a major battle of the Third World War. The ground is poisoned and thousands of skeletons, now overgrown by mutated moss, litter the countryside. There is absolutely nothing of value here. Well, that is both appropriate and disappointing. Worm Egg Virtually identical in nature, the worm eggs may contain any of the Pandoran worm subspecies. At present, three subtypes have been identified, different in only the shell surface and the subtype they contain. In all cases, the outer shell has proven to be highly resistant to damage. In contrast to other alien eggs, the outer layers of the specimen are also highly flexible and capable of containing corrosive, flammable, and toxic substances. Additional findings. 
Worm eggs react to foreign proximity, triggering the hatching process whenever a human or mechanical presence is sensed. Additional findings number two. Destroying the worm egg does not cause the toxic substance it contains to spread. The specimen has been reclassified as non-biohazardous. Sanadrion Haven. With a sniper for hire. Expensive, though. And there goes Satago, which triggers another ODI event. Unexplained Bird Patterns Reports have come of strange animal behavior throughout the world. Flocks of birds have been observed flying in repetitive spiral patterns until dying. Several specimens have been taken for research. However, no abnormalities or infection have been found, including traces of the Pandora virus. The incident has been marked top secret. Oh, nice, we've got a scavenging site. Hmm. We're already past the 30 minute mark, so we don't have time for it today. Oh, we need to set some new research, so let's take care of that. Oof. Looks like most of our projects require live capture at this point. Well, we'll do what we can. Fireworm Autopsy The fireworm appears to be a mobile incendiary bomb with a singular purpose. Acid Worm Autopsy The acid worm's ability to contain highly corrosive substances within its anatomy makes it a worthwhile subject of study. Oh, and we've uh, got a new piece of Disciple Tech, too. Acid Weapons Technology The acid produced by some of the Pandoran organisms could be useful to develop weapons capable of burning through enemy armor. We have succeeded in extracting the corrosive fluid produced by acid worms and integrating it into grenades and small caliber rounds. Although the process is entirely safe and the weapons have been approved by both the Blind Legate and Taxiarch Nergal, a certain degree of caution in their use is nevertheless advised. Interesting. That lets us build the Devourer Handgun and the Synod Grenade. Not the most practical weapons, but they could be fun. It also gives us access to a new research project, so let's go check that out. Advanced Acid Technology The new Jericho Research and Development Group have managed to create a prototype heavy cannon capable of effectively firing acid-filled ammo without risking the weapon itself. Investing the time to streamline the production process would make this type of weapon set for mass production. Strange that a Disciple project would lead to a new Jericho breakthrough, but sure, why not? Anyway, we've uh, still got a couple of minutes left, so let's scrap some of the gear we've been collecting. See if we can raise enough material to build our next facility.
And there we go. Okay, let's plug a mutation lab into Phoenix Space Echo. And one step closer to turning our soldiers into hideous abominations. We've done some good work here today. At any rate, we are now past the 40 minute mark, so you know what that means. We'll hit the pause button for now, but we'll pick up here next time as we loot this scavenging site and... Then I suppose we should go take out at least one of those nests. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Phoenix Point, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, the official Discord server, the official Facebook page, the official Twitter feed, the development roadmap, or the original crowdfunding campaign over on Fig. You can also get your hands on a copy of Backer Build 5 for yourself by pre-ordering the game on the official Snapshot Games web store. Links are in the description.